Hi everyone, I'm Sienna, a new student of the University of Melbourne. Oh, I'm so excited to start a new journey at the University of Melbourne. But at the same time, I do feel a bit nervous because I don't have much group work experiences. And I'm actually worrying about how to work well with future group members. Um, are you worrying about the same thing? If you are, hey, keep watching. Because today, I'm going to ask some of my friends to give me some tips on how to prepare for group work. Let's hear what they say. So I've got some questions for preparing for group work, and I hope to hear some suggestions from you. So first, would you please tell me, like, how do you usually uh, form a group? So based off my previous experience as a graduate student, I usually need to form a group by ourselves. And I would say choosing a group with similar interest and share a similar academic goal is very important because you want to have a teammate to get along with and also be comfortable with. So I've actually had quite the opposite experience from Lee. So, so far in my undergrad studies, we haven't had the choice in choosing our own groups for projects. But I think that working with people you don't know is something that you'll have to do in the future when you enter the workforce. So it's actually a really great learning experience for you. Yeah, I agree with uh, the points Cherry made and it's the same for me too. Generally, that's a common experience for most undergraduate courses. So it's nothing to be afraid of. Right, thank you for your advice. So like, suppose um, now we have a group and how do you break the ice? I reckon the best way to break the ice is to understand where people are coming from, find out whether it's a breath or a core subject for them, and a great way to make sure you enjoy your time doing group work or in a group work situation is always to open up and get to know each other more. Yeah, before we start the assessment or the group project, I would say it's good for us to understand our teammates. I would suggest have a little bit of small talk about, for example, the weather today or recent news or uni life. Yeah, and I think that as you work with your group members more, you become more comfortable with them and, and it will be less awkward. Right, thank you guys. Those are really, really good ideas. So what's the best way of staying in contact with other people in the group? So um, I find that uni students tend to contact each other more through Facebook Messenger because people tend to use this app on the daily anyway. But uh, personally, I think that discussing group assessments through Messenger is less effective because your group mates may take a long time to reply or they might not even reply at all. So I think a good way to tackle this is to just organize weekly Zoom calls outside of class and you just use these sessions to discuss, plan, and just complete the group work together. And I find that this way, you're actually working together as a group more effectively and more efficiently. Yeah, I agree with Cherry. Also, I think different people have different preference. Like some will prefer using email in a more formal way, while some will prefer using Messenger, WhatsApp, or Microsoft team or WeChat. So I think it's better to ask everyone's idea and identify everyone's preference before you start to contact each other. I find, I've found that sometimes some members of your group might not be as enthusiastic and they might be reluctant in answering messages in group chats. Maybe the best way to overcome this is just to message them personally. We can establish within your group, not directly, but indirectly, that university is more than just grades. This way you can make friends with your group members too. Right, right, got it. That sounds good. So I think one of the main reasons I'm asking some suggestions from you guys is um, because when I worked in a group in the past in college, we had a member who just, you know, did nothing. And uh, when we had a meeting, they always have to have excuses uh, for being absent or we were not sure like if something was wrong and they had other problems of um, if they didn't know what to do. So it was really, really, really hard to tell them that they weren't contributing enough. So um, in this case, I want to ask you guys, uh, what do you think we can do when group members are um, free riders or don't participate and do their share? I reckon breaking down tasks and setting interim deadlines 
on a Gantt chart is a good way to see who has been contributing equally. Another way to make sure work is divided equally and everyone contributes equally is just to keep group members accountable and just to check out to see if they're up to date with what they need to get done. I think it's also a good idea to record everyone's responsibilities and roles on a shared document. So like, for example, Google Docs, so that everyone is aware of their roles and what is expected of them. Yeah, I would say use, these, uh, use those strategies to prevent being affected by the free riders and avoid procrastinating is very important too. Um, I would also recommend you to have a quality controller in your team, usually at the start of your assessment, and the controller will be someone constantly monitoring the progress of the teamwork. So everyone in the team understands that they need to finish the assigned task before deadlines and the quality of their work needs to meet certain criteria. This is going to be a very challenging job, but essential for a successful team. Thank you guys. So thank you, Austin, Cherry and Lee. Thank you for your time and your really, really helpful tips. I feel like I know a bit more about working well with other group members now, and I'm sure that all the students watching do too. So I hope to see you guys in campus uh, soon. So bye bye. Excellent. So like, what's the but? Sorry, guys. Again. To understand where, oh wait, can, can we restart? To, ah, uh, can we restart again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, do that again. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. 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 Hey, for more tips and resources, search for Academic Skills Unimel.